Dakota. Hey, my name is Don, and I'm really excited. I just received my new Columba 20-inch foldable bike. Now I have to put it together. I'm here to show you that it's so easy, even I can do it. So let's get started. I've gotten everything out of the box. <laughs> I'm starting off great. And as you can see, everything I need to put my bike together is here. Pedals, wheels, even comes with the tools that you need to assemble the bike. The only thing I need to provide is a Phillips head screwdriver. Everybody's got one of those, right? Okay, let's get started. Next, we're gonna flip the bike over like this. To save space in the box, this part is turned. So the next thing we have to do is turn it clockwise, minding the wires. Now you're gonna have the wheel on the correct way. Then we're gonna take our bike seat, slide it in, adjust the knob, and then close the handle to tighten and lock the seat. Ready to go. Okay, now we have to put the handlebars on. First thing we're gonna do is take off the rubber bottom, and you're set to go. Now when you're installing the handlebars, you need to make sure that the wires are in front. So this is gonna slide in like so. Locking in and all of my wires are in front and going straight. Couldn't be easier. After we get the handlebars in, we have to make sure we tighten it. So of course, righty tighty, Tighten the handlebars. Once you've got it in place, put the handle down, you're set to go. Okay, so I flipped this upside down as you can obviously see. The next thing we have to do is disengage the brake so we can put the fender on and then the front tire. By disengaging the front brake, we just push it through and separate like that. Okay. Now we have to install the front fender. Loosen the nut and slide off the first washer. Now we're gonna slide the fender in like so. Until it's securely in place. Now take the washer Put the nut on snugly. Put it on the right way. Again, righty tighty. Now to tighten it, we're gonna use one of the tools that came with this. Gonna hold it on this side. And with our screwdriver, we're gonna screw it in until it's tight. That simple. Now it's time to put the front tire on. The first thing you have to do is take the nuts off of each side. Now you're gonna slide this into place, making sure that the washers stay on the outside. Now you have two washers here. One has a slot which goes into this hole and then a flat one goes up right next to it. Now we're going to slide that on like that and tighten it. With a nut on both sides. For safety reasons, make sure you use the tool provided to tighten the bolts so they're snug. This is for your safety. Please be careful. <laughs> Crazy people, don't you know how to put a bike together? <laughs> Alright, let's it turn the bike back over to engage the brake. Again, Use the clip. Mm. 
and it was not working. After you flip the bike over, I found it's useful to hit the kickstand so you're not trying to balance the bike and engage the brake at the same time. Now we have to engage the brake. Sometimes out of the box it's pretty tight, so you have to use the Allen wrench. Loosen up the nut, the bolt, I'm sorry. Slide it in so it's engaged and then make sure you tighten the brake again. Good to go. Now when you get to this point, you want to make sure that your handlebars are perpendicular to the tire. It seems that the guy who put this one together was a little crooked. So again, take your handle, loosen it up, adjust them so they're perpendicular, and then tighten it back up. All we have left is the pedals. When you take the pedals out of the box, one is marked with an R, one is marked with an L. Can you guess what that stands for? I thought so. The right one tightens clockwise, but we're finding when you put the left one on, you have to turn it counterclockwise. This is very important and will save you hours and hours of frustration trying to figure out, why won't my pedals come in? What's the matter with me? Why doesn't this bike work? For safety reasons, you want to make sure that your pedals are securely tightened. So use the tool provided, the biggest one, slide it on, and make sure that your pedal is tightly on. Again, the left side is counterclockwise, the right side is clockwise. Don't forget. Okay, we're almost there. The next thing we have to do is make sure that the bike is fit to us. So, with the seat, there is a minimal insert label. Simply slide it in beyond that point, adjust the seat to your height, Lock it in, and remember, both on the seat and the handlebars, they're both adjustable. We're just about ready to go. Okay, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna slap on a helmet and hit the road. Visit us today at www.2ksilver.com and get your bike. Thank you, have a great day.